It had been two years since Naisha had stepped foot in the jungle. The sweet smell of blooming flowers hung heavy in the humid, tropical air. The day was young, and she had been walking for just over three hours, trying to retrace her steps back through her memory. Her feet began to ache in her shoes, and she felt the sudden urge to remove them. A rush of freedom ran through her body as she felt the earth beneath her morphing around her toes with every step. The rhythmic dance of bird songs and insects filled the air. The jungle was teeming with energy, and every corner of her sight buzzed with life. I can't believe it's been two years, she thought to herself, wiping the sweat off her forehead. She loosened her long, curly black hair and let it drop over her mocha-coloured skin. With every moment that passed, she felt herself reconnecting more and more with her wild side. But, despite the wonder of being back in this place, she would not feel complete until she found what she was looking for. Now, it's worth mentioning here that Naisha is no ordinary girl. She had spent most of her life shrouded in mystery. When she was a baby, she was found in a sanctuary by a gypsy couple. Sleeping peacefully, she was wrapped in a silky cashmere blankets, covered with geometric patterns of honey yellows, burnt oranges and azure blues. Around her neck was a fine silver necklace with a pendant shaped like a key that had the simple engraving, Naisha, and Until We Meet Again, written below. They tried to decipher the meaning of the necklace with no success, but they couldn't bring themselves to leave her all alone, so they took her in as their own and raised her in the circus. Naisha grew up surrounded by the ecstatic atmosphere of cheering crowds and sensational stunts. The quiet little girl with bright emerald eyes and long curly black hair was a mysterious orphan in the sea of outcasts and runaways. Before long, it became evident that Naisha was different. She was often found spending time with the animals. She had an unspoken bond with them. It was as if she understood what they were thinking, and they understood her. Being around the animals was where she felt most safe and at ease. Cats, dogs, mice and rabbits would always gravitate towards her like moths to a flame when the circus would settle in a new town. Naisha quickly became known as the Animal Whisperer among the crew. By the time she was 12, she was featured as a main act where she would get the creatures of the circus to perform incredible spectacles. The crowds gathered from town to town to see the girl who could talk to animals. Sadly, despite her success and love for the circus, the girl could never shake her deep curiosity and longing to know where she came from. She would sit and stare at the stars every night and wonder if there was a family out there missing her, looking up at the same night sky. What does it mean? She pondered as she fiddled with the silver pendant around her neck. Meeting Sobrata was the catalyst that inspired her to finally leave the circus and find out who she was. Together, they escaped in the dead of night, two lost souls on a journey to return home. Sobrata and Naisha grew extremely close during this time, they faced great challenges and shared countless beautiful moments. They began their journey to find their homes, but left it having found something just as valuable, true friendship and camaraderie. Two years ago, this very jungle was where that journey came to an end and the companions parted ways. They were from totally different worlds, but they would never forget the connection. Naisha promised Sobrata that she would come back to see him one day and meet his family. Naisha drifted out of her memories and into the present, when she felt the slither of a snake brushing past her feet, followed by a familiar sound of waterfalls. It was as if the snake was trying to guide her to the right place. This is it, she exclaimed. Dropping her shoes to the ground, as she began to run towards the sound. She bounded through the luscious vegetation of the scene as if the waterfall could only be heard for a limited time. Her heart skipped a beat as she emerged into a clearing with a family of waterfalls filling a beautiful lagoon. This was where they said goodbye. This was Sobrata's home. The girl cupped her hands in either side of her mouth and screamed, Sobrata! Sobrata, it's me, Naisha! She looked around patiently, taking a panoramic view of the scene. No sign of her friend. I came back for you. Are you here? Her heart began to sink. Is he gone? She wondered. She waited for a long while, shouting for Sobrata every now and then. Eventually... With a heavy heart, she began to walk back the way she came, mourning the loss of her reunion. Just as she stepped away from the clearing, she looked back once more and saw a sudden glimpse of movement high up in the source of the waterfalls. A great roar echoed through the expanse. Naisha's face lit up and she gazed up at the majestic tiger climbing down towards her. 
Sibrata's stride was still as proud and powerful as the first time she had laid eyes on him, when he was a prisoner of the circus. His piercing yellow eyes gazed into her soul with complete feeling of warmth. His orange and black coat shimmered as bursts of light from the tree line fell on the feline. In a moment of silent conversation, the girl and the tiger shared a moment of deep connection and joy. It's good to see you again, the tiger whispered into her mind. Naisha placed her small hand on Sabrata's face and smiled. A warm tear of joy rolled down her face. She nodded and wrapped her slim arms around his neck and embraced. Naisha, I want you to meet my family. Naisha gazed up to see three more Bengal tigers climbing down from the top of the valley. Her heart warmed to see Sabrata was united with his cubs. They greeted her with warm caresses of their soft coats against her skin, thanking her for returning their father home. Naisha spent the day exploring the jungle with Sabrata and his family. They played, told stories for hours, and watched the sunset over the valley from the mountaintop. When night fell, it was time for Naisha to return home to her family. Sabrata saddled her on his back and carried her through the tropical forest. It was once again time for the companions to part ways and return to their separate worlds. They shared a warm embrace as Sabrata whispered in Naisha's thoughts. Until we meet again, my dear friend. Until we meet again, Sabrata, Naisha began walking towards her home, turning once more to glimpse at the majestic feline who saved her life. You will always be in my heart, she whispered 